Hey guys, I am here with a review of two items today. Um, these are um, Replica, Foxhound, and Militaris San Frontier uh, patches from the Metal Gear Solid games. And I do apologize because I don't pronounce French well the same way I don't pronounce Japanese well. And I pretty much don't pronounce any foreign language well. Uh, uh, aside from my own issues pronouncing English well so I just basically I can't speak um, so yeah he, these are two replicas from two separate games this is from the original Metal Gear Solid game and every Metal Gear Solid game uh, forthwith and here is the patch from I believe Peace Walker um, the PSP the PlayStation Portable game uh, uh, whatever so yeah so here is a review of uh, both of them they're both made pretty well uh, everything is legible legible uh, spe Foxhound Special Force Group um, these are uh, once again fully embroidered right to the tip uh, at the back you can't really see it but uh, there's the um, iron on uh, backing that way you can iron it on although in general uh, what I found is that uh, anything with an iron-on backing typically you can iron on but it's not gonna be as strong so I would suggest putting a little bit of hot glue uh, warming up a hot glue gun it's just you know surrounding you know the the edges especially at the tip right here put a little bit more here down the uh, and then using that uh, using an iron to kind of reconstitute that hot glue um, along with the hot glue that's already available at the back of this uh, patch and it should affix a lot stronger uh, to your bag. Uh, of course, the unfortunate thing uh, that you have to think about is if you are using hot glue, make sure that it's not still drippy because if it drips on your bag, you're gonna have a hard time getting that off unless it's covered directly by this patch. So, you know, moving ahead. Here is the review on the um, on these two guys. Here's the Military Sans Frontiers uh, version. Um, and the interesting thing about this skull is that it's actually Pangea. So this is actually a somewhat exaggerated but somewhat accurate uh, view of Pangea before the continents separated into the continents we know today, which is pretty cool. Obviously though, it's meant to look more like a cracked skull. Um, there, there were, um, there are a lot of uh, uh, some changes, obviously, uh, but, but yeah, if you look it up, it's not too far from the truth, so that's pretty interesting, and I don't know who looked it up in order to do that, but yeah, whatever, um, these are both made extremely well, they are, you know, very thick, um, once again, I said, as I said before, uh, embroidered right to the edge, uh, and so, <clears throat> let's see if we can compare it to something. Uh, that everybody knows the size of. Oh, I know. Handy dand iPhone. So yeah, to give you an idea of size, there it is in comparison to an iPhone. Uh, meaning that you can, you can probably put it, you know, you could probably put it on your bag. Yeah, maybe side by side, maybe separated, maybe just one in the middle, and you know, maybe you put this one in another bag. Um, but yeah, if you want to buy them, you can, you can get a set of these on eBay uh, on the link below so check those out uh, thanks guys